The ancient texts also mention five types of revolution called the Pancha Mandala. Pancha means five. Mandala means the path or the orbit of the revolution. The first one is called Chandra Mandala. Here the moon goes around the earth in its monthly path. This has long been known to all civilizations from time immemorial. Next comes Prithvi Mandala. Here the earth goes around the sun. This was disputed by medieval Europe, but this knowledge of the earth going around the sun has been common knowledge in this land of India. The third one is Surya Mandala. This expresses the path of the sun going around the center of its mother galaxy, Akash Ganga. This has also been accepted very recently, whereas the texts talk about this concept more than 5,000 years ago. The Yajurveda, Aruna Prashna, records the observations of a lady Rishi called Kavi describing the Surya Mandala. I see the Surya Mandala revolving along with it many suns. The Parmeshti Mandala is a group of galaxies spinning together around their center. This has been confirmed less than two decades ago by modern scientists. And the last is the Swayambhu Mandala. Modern science does not speak of this at this moment. This is a concept of there being one single point which has been undeciphered or not understood from which the Big Bang happened, the point where all the galaxies will converge at the end of this cycle of creation. This places the observational recordings in the Siddhanta Jyotisha or Ganita Jyotisha texts to be viewed in a new light. For after all, the word Jyotish means that which throws light, Jyoti. Jyoti means to glow, light. It is also called the eye of the Veda. Jyotisha is that which enables one to see. These texts of Ganita Jyotisha not only confirm phenomena of what we have observed today in modern astronomy, they go far beyond and express things that we have not yet observed in the present cosmology.